Hey Kerry, uh, so I'm going to explain to you my idea for the lumpel zig compression algorithm. It involves using linked lists to store these symbols in your search buffer or dictionary or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then doing fast lookup, basing it off the first symbol on your look ahead buffer and then finding the longest match. Probably doesn't make sense now, but I'm gonna go through it. So basically, the main three operations are gonna be insertion, uh, deletion, and then of course search. So for insertion, well, let's just go through an example. I think it will make it more clear. Um, suppose you have the alphabet of characters, A, B, C, D, and we're gonna say our text input can only use these guys. And then imagine you have this as the input, A, B, B, C, D, B. How would you build this data structure? Well, initially, both your look ahead buffer and um, the search buffer coincide to just A. So what I'm proposing is you have an array of basically linked lists where the head node of each linked list is some character from your input text. And so, in this case, you would say, hey, A is on my look ahead buffer, A is not in the array, therefore A should be added as a list node. Now, since we know beforehand that there's only A, B, C, and D, we can basically have a well, I guess it's a hash table of sorts, but basically you automatically know based on some code that A is where it is in the array. So we can do O of one lookup time for the list node. So A is not there, we look up its code, we put it in there as a list node. And then we have a pointer to A's index into the text. So A is at index one, so he gets this node. Okay, after that, the look ahead buffer moves ahead one. And okay, yeah, one, B is not in there either, so B gets added. And with index two. And then on the next one, um, we find another B. And this B would be at index three. Uh, and at this point, we can start for, at, at this point, I've been, I've been ignoring the look ahead buffer, but really you would just ignore matches of length one. So, what happens when C comes, right? It's just, it's gonna, I'm gonna go through this part quickly because nothing interesting happens till we get to the end. D gets to five, and then finally you get to B. So the look ahead buffer's at B. At this point, you see, do I have a match? A B anywhere. You look up B. B has a hash value of two. So you go here and then you say if I am looking at B starting in index two, how far is the match going to be? So for example, suppose the look ahead buffer is two. We're gonna try and try match two B's. So if I start at index two over here, can can I match one B? Well, yes, of course, but then you can match the next B. So this would have a match length of two. Um, now you do the same thing for the other one. You would go to this B and you would try and match the next character, but you can't because it's a C. So he would only have a match length of one. And so what you do at this point is you take the, whatever node had the maximum uh, match length, you're going to output the index and the length of the match. So in this case, you would output index two length two. So that basically explains how insertion would work. Now, uh, and then I've kind of also explained search at the same time because all you do is you take the first le letter of your look ahead buffer B, index it into the array, and boom, now you have your list node. And if when you index and you found that it wasn't there, well then you need to add that symbol. Now the only other question is how does a, a deletion work?
deletion is also uh, an O of one time operation because what we can do is have a, let's say a pointer to the leftmost end of the search buffer. So let's call that guy B. So B is currently pointing to A, right? But suppose that, I don't know, when we read this next B, um, we've ran out of space in our, our window and so A is no longer a part of it anymore. So what do you do then? How do you get rid of A? Very simple. All you do is you look up the value of A and delete its first entry. So you find the hash code of A, traverse down, and delete this guy. The more interesting example would be for B. So suppose we read another, another guy, right? So now the search window shrinks down a little bit. So now it's only this portion right here. And this is the look ahead buffer. So now our window shrunk down to just include these guys. You look up B and you delete the first entry because remember when you add these in, you're always gonna add it to the end. So there's gonna be going in increasing order. So all you do is, you know, just a little linked list magic here. You change this guy to point to this guy and you get rid of this guy and boom, there's your deletion. So it's a really simple way to do it. Uh, the, comp the worst case complexity for this algorithm isn't very good. It's O of M times N, where M is the maximum length of your max length and N is the size of your search buffer. But you really are not gonna hit that on average. Uh, most of the time it's more like O of M plus N, according to the research paper that I read. Um, now, the last thing is actually, um, there's a more efficient version of this algorithm, which would basically involve, instead of matching on one character, you do match length of two. So now, your link list would be like A, B, B, C, C, D, or, or basically, and basically what that's gonna do is, it's gonna shorten the lengths of the list, because we really don't give a shit about match length of one, because we're not gonna encode that anyway. But, so if we use match length of two, we're gonna, um, I mean the space complexity is gonna blow up, because now what's the size of this array? It's gonna be, if Q is the number of um, symbols in the alphabet, it's now gonna be uh, Q squared, which we have 256, so 256 squared, whatever that is. I don't know what that is, it's like 15, maybe 68,000 or something like that. But anyway, I mean, a computer can handle it. We can't go to the third power because now we're like 10 million and that will take a few seconds to, to compile. But anyway, I think it's a really good idea. We should be able to implement it one day. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the explanation. Take care, man.